Okay, so for the sheep rig, it's actually rather similar to the monster rig in, in philosophy in that we do have these, you know, very simple setups that are easily broken. So, you yeah, just have to be very careful when you animate. Well, not very careful, you just have to keep an eye on it as you animate. Now, one major difference, apart from little, little extras that I've got like ears and tails and so on, uh, and the chew control, one uh, major difference is I haven't got these uh, free of each other. I, I did actually constrain these, the, the hips and the, the ribs. Because basically I found at first I tried to animate it uh, so that these were actually independent of each other and it ended up looking like a pantomime horse where it looked like it was actually two guys in a sheep suit rather than a single sheep. So I had to actually connect these as I, as I animated. So basically I've set up this little chain here. This bone here, I've called it belly, deaf belly, I guess. It's uh it's actually parented to the hips. And it's it's got a look at constraint. Oh yeah, I've added this little bone here that's parented to the you can see it's parented to the uh the ribs. And it's got this one has a look at constraint, or sorry, a track to constraint, beg your pardon. Uh, a track to constraint pointing at this little shoulder target bone. And this has got a copy rotation constraint pointing to this. So as I move this around, this uh, shoulder, you can see that this bone points, so it bends nicely. And then as I rotate the shoulder, this one copies the rotation. So as, as I do a little walk, it actually all moves nicely. And I can actually move this bone anywhere and it's not going to break. So I'm going to stretch him out of, you know, distort him too much. So, that's that. Uh, what else? I mean, that that's basically it. it, it uh, got a few uh, stretch to constraints here. So the that's how you do the, the butt animation, but the actual deformation is taking place here with these two bones here, stretch twos. Uh, these are these ears. I actually can move them about. I don't actually animate them that way. I just I, I really should just lock these, but I, I know as I'm animating that these are just rotational bones. I don't scale or, or grab them. Uh, the blinks as normal, just scaling and the Y. Uh, the chewing, once again, scaling in the Y. I haven't limited any of the constraints either. Once again, I just do it as I animate. So yeah, very simple rig. Um, because it's a portable device game, you want to keep it as simple as possible. And uh, yeah, I'll now get on to the animation. <laughs>